Here's me, a Canon user, heading up to Aperture Rent, my favorite place to rent camera gear in Atlanta, to test out some Sony's. What you got, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> Show me the goods, man. Let me see what you got. Show me. I can't wait. Ooh. Aw. Sony A7S III. Looks good. FX3. Ooh. Exciting. All right, let me sign my life away really fast, and let's take these Sonys and test them out. Today is gonna be an interesting day. I went to Aperture Rent, and I went to pick up the Sony A7S III, and it's gonna be, like I said, interesting, because I haven't used this camera before. It's the first time using it. I'm excited, so here we have it. Right here, Sony A7S III. Yeah, look at that. First of all, swivel screen. How exciting is that? Yep, yep, yep. Not only that, aperture rent. I got a nice lens to try out, to vlog with or whatever. It's a 1.8, 20 millimeter. So this is gonna be an interesting lens. They said it was good for vlogging. We're gonna use it for vlogging and just some B-roll. It's 1.8, shallow depth of field. You know, that good bokeh. We're gonna see what we can get out of that. Take it off. How do you do this? I've never done this before. Just like that, okay. It feels really metally, like, I don't know, like hard edges, metal and stuff like that. So, oh, no memory card. I gotta put a memory card in here. All right, got a memory card. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I've been procrastinating and just been like, I'll do it later and <laughs> I haven't done it. So, I'm very excited that I'm actually doing something that I've wanted to do for a while just because Canon's colors have been weird on their newer cameras, like the R5, R6. It's been a terribly loving, hate relationship between the two. So I wanted to test this Sony out and see what's cracking. So let's put this, oh, you know what? I don't have a card. This card doesn't fit because this is for the Canon R5 and they are different, clearly. Look at that. That's that's the first rookie mistake. A Canon user, he didn't realize that it was a Type A card. I have the CF Express. What Type B is this? Is that what this is? A B. First mistake made. Let me run back to Aperture Rent. That right there was a quick trip to get this expensive little card. All right. So this little door is cool. Let's see. Let's plug this in. Boom. Cut it on. See what's good. English. Oh man, this looks good. Oh, this article looks kind of fire. I gotta set all the settings up and then we're gonna head out and we're just gonna vlog. So let's do it like this. Just like this and all right, here we are on the Sony a7S III. One huge thing for me already is all the different picture profiles is just disgusting. There's way too many picture profiles on here and I'm not taking a shot at Sony or any Sony users at all. This is just my personal preference. I, I want it to be simplistic. There's so many settings. So what I have it on right now is PP7, S-Log2, and then the color is S Gamut 3 Cine, I think. And that's the one that I felt looked the most natural, like just sorting through them on my skin tone that I actually like. And it also, I have to color grade the footage as well to see how this works. And maybe I'll try out some other ones as well, but the S Cine tone looks super orange and pink on my skin. And that is not what I like. I like a low saturated vibe to look natural. I don't know. We're gonna shoot with this for right now. All right, let's get out here and check this camera out for real. Somewhat willing. You're willing to switch. Yeah. $6,100 for a 35, a 20, and the A7S3. Fuck that, man. It's literally making me not want to make anything right now. Like, it's good. The Sony A7S is like, we've been sitting down for three hours straight, color graded the footage, some footage, and it looks good. It does, but it's, this is crippling me right now. I'm back and forth on what's better. And that 20 right there, 1.8 from vlogging is just clutch. So 100%. good. 100%. We just came in here to Chopped to grab a salad, kale Caesar, grilled chicken, hard boiled egg, bomb. Jalapeno chips as well. Where's the autofocus at? It looks pretty good. I am really digging this camera. I can't lie. The sharpness, the colors, both looking really good. There's a bunch of other things that concern me though with this camera. All right, 
I like it. Uh, I think the quality is really good. Look how crispy it is. The highlight roll off is really nice. The colors look really good. This 20 millimeter 1.8 is solid lens, yo. It's lightweight, very good for vlogging. Nice depth of field, as you can see the bokeh behind me. Boom, look at that. Nice bokeh out. This is a really good lens for this camera if you've ever considered it or if you have Sony. This is the one. This is the one I, I would get. Off the rip. The rip. <laughs> All right, it's sunset. Here we are vlogging. I'm using the 20 1.8. Love this lens. I actually like it more than the 24 to 70 that we were also shooting on. Shoot some B-roll. It looks cool. I don't like that I can't play it back in slow-mo until I get to the computer to see what it, like what it looks like. Unless I just don't know what I'm doing. Maybe another Sony user out there may have the answer to that. Maybe you can look at it in slow-mo on the camera. I don't know, but it's cool. You know, we're just flying it around, getting some B-roll, 120 frames per second, 4K, I believe, 422 bit, as long as I was doing it right. Everything's the same, same picture profile, same color space as I was using all day uh, it's been fun I like it you tell me what you think how's the colors look after the color grade I don't know how it's gonna look until I get to the computer <laughs> let's go do something else Pretty cool. I don't know. We're handheld, running around, whatever. We're late. We gotta get this food. Let me get this. All right, let's go. <laughs> low light test in a low light area, kind of. We got a little bit of glow coming in. Let's see when we go sit down, how it looks. Yo, it does look good. Hey, it's me again. So shooting the vlog with the A7S III was a vibe. And if you are with Sony, I recommend getting that camera. Just having the swivel screen, being able to vlog is dope. Not only that, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons for me real quick before I end this video. So pros, small camera, super convenient. The 4K quality, insane. Very sharp, looks really crystal clear and nice. Shooting an S-Log2 with whatever picture profile I said in the beginning of this video that I was shooting on, looked really, really good, especially after coloring down the log footage. I really enjoyed the way that it looked. Pretty much all around the board, the camera was really, really nice and that's coming from a Canon user. Okay, as far as the cons go, I, like I said before, I don't really like the way it feels in my hand, but I kind of got used to it as I was shooting and if it was my only camera or if I did only own Sony, I would not be complaining about that. I only am saying that because I'm a Canon user and I'm just used to having the, the body, the Canon bodies in my hand all the time. When I did start using the Sony, it did feel different, but it's not a big deal. You'll get used to it if you are switching from Canon to Sony or if you're just thinking about picking up the A7S three, you'll get used to the way that it feels in your hand and that experience. Another con for me is I have a really nice computer. I have the MacBook 16 inch um, M1 Max right now and that's a, it's pretty powerful. I got a lot of RAM in it. It's really jacked up with specs and even editing down that vlog and stacking like multiple 4K clips on top of each other, I got a little bit of a lag and I don't typically get that type of lag with the 4K or the C-Log 4K with the R5. My computer runs really good and I'm editing in Final Cut 10 so I don't know what it is but the Sony a7s3 footage got a little laggy on my computer 
a nice fast computer. So if you are thinking about getting this camera, you need to think about upgrading your system that you edit on first because you're gonna have some trouble. You're gonna have to be creating proxies and all types of stuff. Another little con is I had an 80 gigabyte card with the Sony. It didn't run out on me, but I think that if you are getting an a7S III, you wanna get more than 80 gigabytes on a memory card. And those cards are expensive. It's not like the CF Express card in this R5 is any cheaper, maybe a little bit cheaper, but I'm just saying in general, those Sony cards are expensive. So if you're getting a camera with a memory card and even a lens, it's gonna run you. It's gonna, it's gonna be costly for the a7S III with a card and a nice lens. Another con, taking photos. I did not like that I had to manually go in and switch the picture profile back or turn it off so I would have a neutral picture profile for my photos because I do not want to take photos in S-Log 2. They're flat, they're washed out, it just looks ugly. And even when I brought it in, I thought it would convert over in Lightroom, but it didn't for me. It kind of was just really dark and I had to bring the exposure up high. And then they look good, but having to switch back and forth was an issue for me. And then I did talk to one of my friends, uh, Ben Creative, that owned Sony and he said that you just basically make custom profiles so that you turn the dial to take photos and then turn the dial to do video and you can have the video in S-Log2 and you can have the photos just neutral picture profile. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. I just didn't really experiment with custom picture profiles or anything like that because this is all new to me so don't roast me in the comments. But for the few days that I had the Sony a7S III rented out, I was switching back manually in the menus from the PP uh, profiles or the picture profiles seven back to turning it off to be able to take the photos in a neutral picture profile and I actually took a lot of pictures by accident in the S-Log2 profile and had to bring the exposure up when I color graded them in Lightroom. Speaking of which, shameless plug, there is a link down below to my Sony Lightroom presets that I created on the a7S III. Some of those presets were designed on S-Log2 photos where I had to bring the exposure up really high and some of them were also created on neutral picture profile where the exposure is down low. So if you do got Sony and you want to get my colors that I made for the Sony presets, you will have to adjust them accordingly. I'm sure some of you out there do take your pictures in S-Log too. So if you did, some of those presets will work and then some of them will be darker. The ones that were taken on neutral picture profile will be darker. You'll have to just raise the exposure up. Obviously, you'll have to do minor tweaking to temperature, tint, exposure. And then if you wanna change up some colors depending on what's in your photo, you have to do that. So there's a link down below to those. I had a really good time shooting on the Sony a7S III. Now let's see what the FX3 video comes out like. Yeah.